Is Instagram TV the new YouTube killer? Oh my goodness, if I had a dollar for every article I read today about is Instagram TV gonna be the next YouTube killer? Holy smokes, I might be the richest man in the world. Every single tech site is writing about this Instagram TV today. You cannot miss it. Um, it just launched today and we're gonna kind of discuss, in my opinion, why this is not a YouTube killer. While I think this one will struggle, and I'm gonna kind of give you many various points from a very interesting perspective because I am someone that has been in invest it literally in Facebook stock before. By the way, Facebook owns Instagram for those of you who do not know. I've been investing in Google stock. I'm a YouTube creator. I obviously have an Instagram account, okay? So I've got all these different ways of kind of viewing it from an investor standpoint, from a standpoint of someone that makes money off these platforms and things like that. You really enjoy it. Um, so basically this Instagram TV is it's a, it's a new app that kind of can combine with your Instagram account and you can post up to hour long video. Some people are talking about you can only post up to 10 minutes right now while others say you can post up to an hour we'll see how it all plays out as time goes along okay um, I wouldn't necessarily call it beta version but it was it's very early days okay this baby just got launched so we're gonna see how things shake out now if you're comparing this insta TV okay we'll just call it uh, insta TV and you're comparing it to the almighty YouTube all right the, the very very different game plans okay very very different all right this Instagram TV there is a few fatal flaws we're going to count out here all right the first one is this is this is vertical okay this is a vertical dealio now vertical is not how people want to spend the majority of their time watching something okay you're watching a 5 10 15 20 minute video I have yet to meet a person in real life who's like oh this is my phone I'm gonna watch it like this I, I have yet to meet a person that's like I'm gonna watch a long-form video like this no one does that guys if you're gonna watch a long-form video everybody flips their device landscape mode and that's how you end up watching it okay so that's an issue right off the bat the fact that this is a vertical platform like that's not ideal okay for long-form video content which is what this Instagram TV is aimed at it's aimed at you know you watching long-form stuff kind of like YouTube you knows YouTube videos out there are 5 10 15 20 minutes long all right so that's not really the best feature there the second part has to do with creators okay the second part has to do with creators and where I see a lot of issues here is I highly doubt Facebook wants to give up some of their revenue in order to get more creators. If you don't already know, Google AdSense splits whatever ad money comes in with the creator, okay? 50% goes to me, let's say, the creator of, of a YouTube video, and the other 50% of the money coming in for an ad goes to YouTube, okay? So 50% to me, 50% to YouTube. That's a very attractive proposition. Do you know why that's a very attractive proposition? Because no one else offers anything, okay? You do something on Facebook, you get a thousand views, on, let's say, on a video on YouTube, as long as you have a monetization hook up you get a thousand views on YouTube you might make five or ten dollars off that video okay not a lot of money but it's still money and it still starts to add up especially when you have a lot of you know a lot of videos on your channel right Facebook you do those same thousand views guess what you get for that nothing you do the same video on Instagram what do you get for that nothing you do the same video on Twitter what do you get for that nothing you do the same video on snapchat nothing almost every single platform gives you literally nothing okay for an ad that's shown on your video or your your piece of content you put out there your written subject or whatever it is you get nothing YouTube is like okay we're gonna split it with you 50 50 all right so creators if you're a creator where are you gonna want to go you're still gonna want to obviously lean toward YouTube I mean a lot of people like to complain about this and that with YouTube but if you're a creator out there you're still gonna lean toward YouTube because Instagram is banking that oh you'll link somebody off to somebody's product and have a uh, sponsorship or whatever or sell your own product that's fine but guess what you can do that on YouTube too so you can have a sponsorship and have this and that and still get your 50 like like this is a huge massive competitive advantage Google has over the rest of the competition okay and it's another reason why YouTube has so much dominance because people are like oh man I want to build a YouTube channel because guess what then I'm gonna start actually making money from that from the ad sense program okay some people make a few hundred dollars some people make several thousand some people make millions of dollars a month off the AdSense program for their big YouTube channels all right so that's a very attractive proposition where it's like okay you build up an Instagram you still got to find a way to get sponsors or sell your own products or something like that so creators are creators gonna jump out there I'm not sure about that guys the third big flaw I see in Instagram TV is it's only on your phone okay it's only a phone thing 
A lot of people that watch long form content don't necessarily want to watch it on their phone. I've never, I, I don't think ever, as long as I've had smartphones and I've been, have, I've had smartphones for probably five, six years now, I have yet to watch a super long video or a movie or something like that on my phone. I never watch 20, 30, 40, 50 minute videos on my phone. If I know I'm going to watch long form content, I'm getting on my iPad or I'm getting on my Mac, okay? Or I'll watch something on TV. I'm not watching a, a long form video on my phone. It's like, like this big, like who does that, okay? So these are some fatal flaws. A vertical, come on, come on. Like, like it's 2018, like let's get serious. Creators, I'm not sure, you know, creators, you, do they want to get some of those inst more Instagram followers? Absolutely. But do they want it to the point where they're like, oh, YouTube, we're not going to go, we're going to go away from you? No, because guess what? If Facebook's greedy and they probably don't want to give up any of that money. And it's dumb greedy in my opinion. They would be really smart if they said, if they did the same as Facebook, they said did a 50-50 deal. This this would be ingenious, okay? Yes, would it hurt them short-term profitability? Yeah, but this is a company that makes massive profits, same way Google makes massive profits. That's why, you know, if for the longest time, YouTube's lost money for Google, right? And it just, I think, recently started to actually make Google money. For the longest time, YouTube's lost, you know, money for Google because they're willing to do 50-50 split, whereas Facebook hasn't been willing to do that, but if they do that, then we could be talking. But is Facebook gonna do that? I highly doubt they're gonna do a 50-50 split. They're gonna wanna keep 100% of the ad revenue coming in. I can almost guarantee that. And the other the other problem is it's a phone-only feature, and uh, a lot of people love to watch things on their, their laptop, their iPad, and things like that for long-form content. And that's what this is aimed at. It's long, aimed at long-form content. But if they can make this available all over the place, and they can make it a website where you can view it on your computer and, and it's an app on your iPad and, and you know different tablets and whatnot then all of a sudden we're talking about maybe there could be something and then if they do a 50 50 split with creators on all ads run on those videos then we're really talking but until those things happen I think this thing um, you know it's gonna get a lot of people to use it no matter what you know a lot being you know tens of millions at least because it's an Instagram branded product okay but the question is is this gonna be a, a, an app that has a billion plus users like the billion plus people that use Facebook on a given month I highly doubt that unless they make some big decisions one last thing that's might be bigger than anything okay is what I call AI okay artificial intelligence otherwise known as the algorithm, okay? The algorithm is key. YouTube has years and years and years and years of algorithm on you, okay? Knowing what you wanna watch, knowing what you would like to watch next, knowing that you watched this video in the past, which means you're probably gonna wanna watch this video in the future. There's an algorithm to YouTube and it's freaking amazing. And that's one of the biggest reasons why, Facebook, why YouTube has been such a big success. Because every time you log in, there's a good chance on that homepage, there's at least one video, if not several videos, that you're like, dang, man, I gotta watch this video. Oh, I really came to watch this other thing. I, I gotta look up how to change a, a part in the toilet, but damn, that video looks freaking interesting right there. I'm gonna have to watch that either later, or I'm gonna have to watch that right now, or I'm gonna have to watch it after I'm done watching this video, okay? YouTube has a phenomenal algorithm. Instagram doesn't have an algorithm like that. Instagram might have algorithms on what post you might like and, and which you know people you follow the most, and you're checking their accounts, they have that type of information on you, but they don't have video information to the point of, of knowing, oh man, they're gonna wanna watch this video next, and you know, 100 million people have watched this video next in, in this order and whatnot. They don't have that type of data when Google has that. So you put all these together, man, it's tough competition, it's tough competition. Um, we'll see what happens as time goes on, but it's gonna be key if they want this to succeed, they gotta split that revenue, and uh, they gotta get it on all the devices. That's the bottom line, guys. If they want this to be a big, huge success. So I would love to hear your guys' opinion down there in that comment section. As always, thank you for watching. Have a great day.